on having a Rails application. And in this step, we're going to follow the steps in our GitHub repo and continue on from there. So to go to our GitHub repo, go to GitHub slash code SDK. And in there, you can see that we have the steps here. So the first step is to make the change to our database YAML. And in order to do that, we have to add an adapter for dev. So we go to our Visual Studio code. And in there, we can add our adapter. So let's go ahead and add the adapter to this section. So we go to development.yaml and that's going to be under db. Uh, it's going to be under the config. Uh, let's see here. Oh yeah, database.yaml right here. So in the database YAML section, we'll just paste our adapter for SQLite. And that should be like that. And we'll change our default to use dev so that it uses SQLite by default. And in the next step, we can go back to our browser and check that we have this gem called Rack Course installed. So we can just copy that and go to our gem file and install Rack Course. So let's search for Rack Course and paste that in there. In the next step, we are going to paste the SQLite gem into our gem file. Since we pasted these gems, we should run bundle install at this point. So let me just make this window, window visible here. And we can run bundle install. Uh, so we have to cd to code SDK and until install. So that should install all the gems. Um, now let's just do a quick commit here. So in this step, we're going to create our model. So let's create that model. And it's just a basic model having a title and description. Let's create a controller. So let's create the controller right there. Now in that controller, we can see that we need some methods, but we'll add that later. Now let's do a migration. And it ran a migration, so it created the schema and that looks good. Then we can go ahead and create these task controller methods. So let's look at the index method first. So in our task controller, under controllers, task pipelines controller, we can create the index method under create we can create the create method under update we can create the update method and under destroy we can create the destroy method then we can create the private param method which is right at the bottom here so that's all the uh, methods. Now we need a seed. So we can seed the DB by using a seeds RB. 
so the seeds RP can have some seed data like that with the uh, create method invoked. Now if we run seed it should populate the db with the seed of the uh, models and now if we run rail server it should give us the entire api so if we go to localhost 3000 and go to slash api now it's saying no route matches so we have to check our routes rb file so if we go to config routes rb we don't have the route for the api so let's go back to our readme file here and we can see that in the readme there should be a section for routes so here in the routes rb file we have to add this route in to routes rb and it has to be a scoped route so it's scoped to api version one so now if we go back and run the server and set this to version one it gave us the uh, data and we can check using postman as well that the data is there so yeah so that's the demo and uh, see you in the next part thanks for watching